Well, I grew up in Bendigo, so country Victoria, but also country Victoria in New South Wales on the border of uh, Albury Wodonga. I am Vietnamese. I mean, well, the first half of my life in Vietnam and the other half over here. If you listen to my accent, you'll hear that I'm not from around here, as they say. Uh, I, I did grow up in Australia for a while, but I'm from Northern Ireland originally. It's amazing to think back and realise how different it was. It was fairly sheltered. Well, where I grew up, there was no such thing as queer or gay. I look back and realise now how binary regional Australia was back then, and I know it is still. A rooster is a rooster, a hen is a hen. I was told being trans, being queer, being gay was sinful. I had names thrown at me. Look, I knew that there was something different about me. I didn't have the language for it. I didn't have the framework for it. And it wasn't really till later that I even understood what the terms were, but um, I knew that I was other. Those people were degenerates and I should never dare, like myself, to be one of them. Thank you, colonialism. <laughs> It was very religious and conservative and so the the idea of gayness didn't even really exist. So it was very hard in terms of trying to understand my sexuality and my gender identity. I don't think I really met another queer person until I went to university. Up until then, I'd, I'd heard of it, sure, but I didn't understand it. I didn't really knew it existed. Gender identity, I didn't work out for a long time, but my sexuality as a person that was assigned female at birth was very confusing. It was other people realized I was queer before I did, actually. When I went to a gay bar, to a, a gay nightclub, all of these people were dancing to this music that made you feel so alive and free. I was probably in my 30s, and I'm sure other trans people can relate to this. I first went out and somebody called me Sir. I learned about my sexuality before my gender identity. And the first celebration was at a nightclub back then called IQ on Smith Street. So I was at a restaurant with a friend. Um, I didn't feel that people were reading me particularly as male. I just started taking testosterone. But when the waiter said, what, you know, what can I get you to drink, sir? I was over the moon that somebody recognized who I was. For the first time ever, I met other people who were just like me. I had this whole community around me that I didn't realize I needed until I had it. I felt like I could, for the first time ever, be myself and celebrate that. The second time when I was my happiest, actually, like my, to my real self, uh, my, my gender and everything, was at a nightclub called Puff Doof at the unisex bathroom. The song actually that reminds me of that time is Show Me Love. Yeah, that's that's like my, my gay anthem now, really. Um, every time I hear it in the gay bar now, it's still really good memories, so. And uh, I got my name from um, a drag queen. She named me um, something, I don't know if I can say, anus to Asia. And I thought, there's no way on earth I'm going to have that on the paperwork. I adapted it to um, Anastasia or Anastasia and um, it means rebirth and resurrection. No matter your identity, your gender expression, your sexuality, you are enough. There will be tears, there will be broken heart. This journey is so worth it. You are perfect as you are, and no matter what anyone tells you, you are beautiful and amazing and precious. You know, the world is changing really rapidly, and for young people, it feels like there's so many options, which can be really overwhelming. Don't wait for change. Be the change you want to see in the world. I guess my message for young people today is, uh, listen to your heart when it's calling for you. No, really, just, don't let the pressure overwhelm you too much. Surprise people. Love your body. Doesn't matter what you choose or decide, you can always change that. And there's always opportunities, especially living here in Australia. Keep your head high and walk straight on the street. You are doing enough already. You are already stepping into change 
and you will actually inspire somebody. Don't feel like the choices that you make for the future are the ones that you have to stick with. We oldies and our, the elders in the um, LGBTIQ community, we have your back. We're behind you, we love you, and you are enough as you are. What do I know? I'm just a woman. Dean, I've just realized it's wear it purple, Dan. I forgot to put something purple on. Hold on. This is my purple party jacket and I've actually got tracky pants to match it. And so now when I go for my one hour government regulation walks, I wear my Kath and Kim tracksuit, I like to call it. And this is the top half of. Happy wear it purple day, everyone.